I don't have to do an outro for this video because I haven't finished reading any of the chapters, so stay tuned. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a new video for me not for a lot of other people but I recently received five different arcs from different publishers and I figured instead of doing a haul video which I usually do when I receive arcs I would try something a little bit different and do a try a chapter tag for the five arcs instead I figured the book that I like the most out of the five is the book that I'm going to read next and I can do a reading vlog for the book if you guys are interested let me know down below if that's a good idea. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first book that I'm going to try a chapter for is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. This was sent to me by HarperCollins HCC Frenzy and it is released September 2020. I believe it's already out by the time you see this video. Definitely go get a copy. I think it came out like three days ago, so... Get your hands on it quick. When it came in the package, I was so freaking excited because I've just heard such great things about this book from the people who have already read it. From what I've seen, it's about a R&B artist named Enchanted who meets a man and they form a relationship. The only thing is, is that this man is a lot older than her. And then he shows up dead and fingers are pointed to Enchanted and it's like the story of that. I also believe that it is an own voices novel for Tiffany whose first boyfriend was 22 when she was 15. There's like a whole author's note in it about it which I think is like really cool that she had the confidence to write about this. I also really love it because it has like content warnings the like very first page. So that's really cool because I don't see that in a lot of books but yeah this is the first book that I'm going to try a chapter from so... chapter of this book was literally like two pages but I am like hooked already off of two pages. Basically the first chapter is just enchanted in this man Corey's apartment who I'm assuming is the older man and she's talking about how there's beet juice everywhere and it's all over her and he's gonna be so mad that she got beet juice everywhere and then she walks to his bedroom and he is lying face down on the bed and covered in this beet juice which is actually blood and then the police knock on the door like pound on the door and that's like the whole chapter it's literally two pages but i am like really wanting to continue and i'm kind of bummed that it was so short and i know that i'm not supposed to read the next chapter in this book but like I really want to. So even though that this is the first book that I read the first chapter on, this is in number one place because like what the heck? The next book is also from HarperCollins Frenzy and it is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danielle Bennett and it is to be released in November 2020 so it's still a little bit away but figured I'd give it a try since it came in the package. I don't know too much about this. When I went to the Frenzy event, they said that it was like queer fae with dark humor, so I was really into it because I, one, love dark humor and I love queer stories and fae are great. It says that it is for fans of Six of Crows meets Cruel Prince. I freaking loved the Cruel Prince trilogy. I've never read Six of Crows, but everybody else seems to really like it, so I'm definitely intrigued by it. And I'm pretty sure it's enemies to lovers. It says that Rags is a talented thief and he gets assigned to steal relics from the Fae and then the relic that he ends up having to steal is a distractingly handsome annoyingly perfect ancient Fae prince called Shining Talon so I'm really hoping it's an enemies to lovers because that's like my favorite trope ever so I'm super excited about this one <laughs> just finished the prologue and chapter one of this one. I read the prologue and chapter one because the prologue happened a year before the story starts and I literally have no idea what the heck was going on. I was really confused because it talks about somebody named Toman who isn't even on the back like 
Rags is the thief and the prince is Shining Talon. So who the heck is Tolman? There was like a slaughter of fairies or non-fairies. I don't even know. It didn't really say anything. It just said that the Queen's Guard sword was used. And then chapter one is from Rags' perspective and Rags was caught by the Queen's Guard for stealing something. He thinks that he was betrayed by somebody that he was working with. It's him in prison waiting to get picked up by the Queen's Guard for, I don't know if it's a trial or to go get like interrogated but the Queen's Guard just came for him at the end of the chapter so I'm intrigued I think that it would be really interesting to continue reading but this is still definitely number one on the list because honestly the beet juice has me hooked I want to know if Enchanted actually did like murder this man or like what so number one number two so far the next book that I'm going to try a chapter of is punching the air by Ibi Zoboy and Yosef Salem this one I got sent from HarperCollins Frenzy and it is supposed to be released September 2020 I believe it's already out now but I'm really excited for this one which I'm like saying about every single book in this video for some odd reason. I'm always excited for books and then I never end up reading it but this time we're gonna do it because it's in verse which I am a huge fan of novels in verse and it's written by Yusuf Salem who was one of the Exonerated Five which I think is really interesting that he wrote from his experiences. This is the ARC version but apparently in the final version of the book it's like has pictures and like artwork and stuff in it which I think is always like a great touch. I wish that the ARC had it. This one is going to be kind of hard to read like the first chapter of it because it's literally written in verse so every page is technically a new chapter. So I'll I read 12 pages of this because I read 10 pages of this so I thought that like it's pretty much equivalent even though like this is in verse so like it's a lot shorter but the first 12 pages was jam-packed with a lot of information. It follows a boy named Amal who was arrested. We don't know why he was arrested yet but I'm assuming it's something close to the Exonerated Five case because this is who wrote the book. There was one like super powerful part of this like first 12 pages of the book. It talked about how Amal had to wear a suit to his trial and how the suit was meant for like all these big events that he would have had in his life but instead it was for the trial and then he talks about how his art teacher is the first character witness and she's asked if he's an angry person or if he's violent or if he ever showed signs of being aggressive and she said yes that's why I work so hard with him for channeling that anger into his art and he says that like he knows that she's never seen him as a person she's only seen him as his artwork and it's like kind of like a really interesting concept so i'm definitely like intrigued by this i think this is probably second behind grown grown is still number one for me so far so the next book i think i'm probably the most excited for just because it's a thriller and i am just really into thrillers we all know this now but it is the companion by katie allender this one was actually sent to me by penguin teen they sent me an e-arc version of it and then they emailed me and was like hey we have finished copy if you want it and i was like heck yeah i do so Thank you so much for the finished copy. I'm very excited. I'm assuming this is already out because I have a finished copy of it. I don't know for sure, so do not quote me on it, but I'm guessing it's going to be coming out soon if, you know, finished copies are available. And some of the pages kind of have like these speckles on them that make it look like blood on the top. You, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but it, I think it looks really cool, so... I'm hoping somebody dies. It's about a girl named Margot who is an orphan. She gets chosen by this prestigious family to be a companion to their daughter, Agatha. I don't know what's up with Agatha. I'm assuming we're gonna find out what's up with Agatha, but apparently she's very mysterious and I'm guessing she's gonna be like a little psychopath or something like that, but I'm really intrigued. I'm very, very, very interested in this one. <music> Read 15 pages of this. Actually, 
pretty intrigued. So Margot is the sole survivor of a car crash that her and her parents and her two sisters were in and she gets sent to an orphanage. At this orphanage she meets a girl named Tam who instantly hates her because she's constantly like screaming in her sleep because of nightmares and you know keeping everybody awake and also just she's a real big bitch honestly. And then at the end of the first chapter she is told that she's the luckiest girl around and I'm assuming that's because she just got to the orphanage and then a day later she's chosen to go off to this Agatha's house. We haven't met Agatha or the family yet, but based off of the synopsis, you know what's happening. So I'm actually really intrigued. I don't know which one I want to read more. Probably this one still just because like it was literally two pages and I was hooked. This took 15 pages. So I feel like this kind of like wins out, but this one's a close second. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up this one soon after I finish this one because I'm pretty sure this one try is gonna it. win. And then the final book I'm gonna try a chapter from is Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. This one was sent to me by Simon & Schuster. I'm super excited. It comes out October 13th, 2020, so pretty soon. This follows a girl named Sapphire who goes missing and then like the people around her secrets start coming out and it's like trying to find Sapphire but also learning about all these secrets. So, you know, your typical thriller novel. <laughs> I kind of want to read this one now too so like I feel like I have like a three-way tie with these three books so this one the first chapter it was like a prologue kind of thing from I think the killer's perspective or like the kidnapper's perspective because Sapphire goes missing and then the first chapter goes until ch page five but it's like kind of like a overview I guess of Sapphire but from Sapphire's perspective and she's talking about how her parents like are gone she lives with her uncle she's seen as very beautiful and pretty but she doesn't think she's pretty she gets along better with boys but then when she got pretty the boys got weird and didn't want to hang out with her as a friend so she decides that she's going to harvest some girls is what she calls it so she doesn't particularly like any of them but she knows that she needs to have them around just to like have friends she says that she does like bad things and that like sometimes she scares herself with her thoughts and then she talks about how like she self-harms sometimes and when she was 10 years old something really bad happened to her but like we don't get told what it is and so her uncle who she lives with sends her to a therapist because he finds like the self-harm scars and like fresh cuts that she did to herself and then she meets a man there named Roan and that's the end of the chapter so like who the heck is Roan like what what happened I don't know so like I feel like I have a three-way tie with all three of these because I really really want to read all three and I don't know what to do okay so I know I said at the beginning of this video that I was going to choose which book I was gonna use for my reading vlog if you guys wanted it based off of the chapter that I read but like I just said I have a three-way tie like I honestly I don't know which one I want to choose because this one like it was only two pages and I was like instantly hooked and like wanted to keep reading and I feel like I didn't give it like a fair chance because it was only two pages but I said I wanted to only read the first chapter of every book so I did and like it was only two pages but the other books were all like 10 to 15 pages so like should I read 10 pages of this and like count it as the first chapter or not I don't know this one seems like it would just be like super up my alley and like I love thriller books and like I want to know this Agatha person because we don't know anything about Agatha yet and like I just find Margot really interesting so far off of 15 pages so like I'm very intrigued but then this one who the heck is Roan and what bad thing happened to Sapphire and like is Roan the one that kidnaps her because I know that she goes missing but like I don't know so I just like need to I need to know more you know so what I've decided is I want you guys to tell me which out of the three of these you think I should read and use for my next reading vlog so leave a comment down below please because I honestly have no idea so like I said leave a comment please let me know which one I should read and I will see you all in my next video goodbye